Hi everyone, I'm Rowan Nabil from the Palestinian Youth Movement. I've been organizing with the PYM for about a year and a half now. Hey folks, my name is Rowan and I'm an organizer with the Palestinian Youth Movement Toronto. We want to thank the organizers for hosting and inviting us to participate in this year's International Women's Day. Congratulations on this successful event. On March 8th, the world celebrates International Women's Day to honor the lives of women throughout history. This International Women's Day, we, the Palestinian Youth Movement, or PYM, pay homage to Palestinian women who have been pillars in our struggle for justice, liberation, and a return to Palestine. We acknowledge that Palestinian women have been central political actors in the struggle to liberate Palestine and have also selflessly sacrificed for the collective wellness of the Palestinian society across decades. Building upon the history of Palestinian women's movements, we believe that to achieve a liberated Palestine, we must realize the total emancipation of our people from all systems of oppression. We believe that freedom entails the end of Zionist settler colonialism, imperialism, gender-based violence, exclusion, inequity, and other forms of structural oppression that govern Palestinian land and life. We are moved to action by the political principles advanced by Talat, a movement organized by Palestinian women within Palestine and in exile, to have elucidated that there can be no free homeland without free women. We are committed to confronting gender-based violence, femicide, and Zionist settler colonialism as they are co-constitutive of one another. We recognize the entangled relationship between Zionist settler colonial, gendered violence, and the intercommunal violence Palestinian women endure. Since early phases of Zionist settlement in Palestine, acts and threats of sexual violence have been among the most instrumental weapons used to disseminate Palestinian bondages to land and one another as part of the greater process of ethnic cleansing. Today, countless numbers of racist and gendered codes inscribed within Israeli law legitimize state-sanctioned violence and control over Palestinian women's bodies, movement, economic sovereignty, and access to justice, particularly for Palestinian citizens of the settler state. Under colonial siege in the Gaza Strip and occupation in the West Bank, pregnant Palestinian women are unable to access medical attention as a result of mil militarized roadblocks checkpoints, curfews, and inaccessibility to hospitals, resulting in chronic rates of mortality. Not only are Palestinian women unable to produce life freely, they are also barred from preserving life. Such was the case of the 20-year-old nurse, the Dazan Najjar, who was deliberately targeted and shot dead by Israeli sniper fire on June 1, 2018, as she tended to the wounded during the Great March of Return in the Gaza Strip. Death, debilitation, and injury to Palestinian bodies have been quintessential characteristics of Zionist colonialism. Under an increasingly robust Israeli surveillance and security apparatus, Palestinian women are denied the right to safety, both in public and private life. Israeli home invasions in the middle of the night that tear families apart are but one illustrative example of the persistent torment Palestinians endure and the various ways population control techniques reinforce the control of women's bodies, relationships, spirituality, practices of intimacy, and home life. Furthermore, imprisoned Palestinian women and girls experience varied forms of psychological and physical torture that negate their humanity and weaponize gendered and sexual violence against them and their families. We are aware of the ways that women's rights have been appropriated by non-governmental organizations in Palestine, as well as in liberal Zionist, imperialist, Islamophobic, and Orientalist feminist discourses that reproduce racist notions of Arabs and Muslims. These discourses underlie the notion that the violence Palestinian women endure is a result of cultural and religious dogma. Such claims ignore and even justify the violence of Israeli colonization. As a collective of Palestinians, we reject all forms of pseudo-feminist solidarity with Palestine and simultaneously assert that ending violence against women is a Palestinian national aspiration alongside aspirations for return, freedom, and dignity. We understand that Zionist settler colonialism is also a project of capitalist accumulation, not only impacting Palestinian bodies, but also our ancestral land as a resource for extraction, decimation, and development. We recognize that Palestinian women have played an instrumental role in defending the integrity of land and the life that it nurtures. Borrowing from the learned lessons of women involved in land-based struggles from Turtle Island and the Kingdom of Hawaii to the Philippines, we believe in the land as a provider of life rather than a site of extraction and aim to refortify reciprocal relations of care, love, and appreciation for land as a part of our political ethos.
We recognize that unabated capitalist accumulation has resulted in global crises of displacement, fascism, xenophobia, environmental degradation, and violence against women. We honor and join women from across the global south who are rising against gendered violence, dispossession, class warfare, and in the protection of land. We unwaveringly affirm our commitment to transnational solidarity. We envision a future where all our people can be free from prisons, occupation, refugeehood, economic, gendered, and sexual violence, and landlessness. We trust in the power of grassroots liberation organizing, and we refuse to accept injustice in the name of prioritizing one cause above another. Women's liberation is not secondary to national liberation. We look to Palestinian women's movements deeply embedded in our histories for guidance and inspiration as we build upon their legacy. We borrow from the profound lessons of Arab and Muslim women's movements throughout history and the radical collective traditions of indigenous, black, and third world feminisms. With love, solidarity, and a tenacious hunger for freedom, we salute Palestinian women today and every day, and we commit our lives to political and social liberation as one people and one struggle. Until liberation in return, the Palestinian Youth Movement.